So I'm wearing a hat today because my hair cannot be tamed. If anyone has frizzy curly hair, you know what I'm talking about. Wearing a hat is kind of bad for a few reasons. Um, the lighting on my face is probably kind of weird. And now, creepy stalkers might possibly know where I live. Or possibly know where I went to school. Let's get started! Okay, so I'm really excited today because I'm doing my first ever haul. I've never done a book haul before. My city opened a Goodwill bookstore, which is like the Goodwill store, but with no clothes or no shoes or no dishes or whatever, just books. So it's like a bookstore, but it's Goodwill. I love it. It's my favorite thrift bookstore we have. I got four books there for about $15, which is awesome. And then I have a fifth book to show you at the end of the video that's like another special book I acquired this month. So let's go! Oh, I just knocked my camera over. First, I got Animal Farm by George Orwell. I've never read a George Orwell book, so I'm very excited. I've heard great things about this. I don't know much about this. I never had to read it in school like a lot of people did, so I'm really excited to start it. I am shocked at how tiny this is. This is only like 100 pages, so I thought to myself when I picked it up, like, oh, the font must be tiny. The font is normal size font. It's like pretty big. So I didn't really know that this book was so tiny, but that's kind of cool, I guess. But let me know if you like this book, if you've read it before. Then I picked up The Princess and the Goblin by George MacDonald. Now that I'm thinking about it, I hope that this isn't like a second or third book in a series, you know? Like, I hope... I don't know, I didn't look into that, and they never tell you on the book. So anyway, I've heard around booktube a lot people talking about buzzwords and what words they see in descriptions of books or in titles of books that make them want to know more about the book or want to read the book. One of my buzzwords is princess, and heck, even goblin is kind of a buzzword for me. I liked this title. This looks like a fun middle grade book, and I looked it up on Goodreads, like in Goodwill I got on Goodreads. Do you guys do that when you're shopping for books? Like you get on Goodreads to make sure it doesn't have like a one star rating. So anyway, I got on Goodreads and I've seen that a few of my booktube friends have read this, and they all gave it somewhere in between three to five stars, so I figured I would try it out. I'm excited to read it. I like this kind of stuff for the most part. Then I'm really excited about this. I got the Scorpio Races hardcover by Maggie Steve Otter for only $3.25. So I actually would rather read The Raven Boys than The Scorpio Races. I've been really wanting to read The Raven Boys, but this was the only one. They didn't have The Raven Boys there. They only had this book. So I picked up this one, although I do prefer standalones to series. This is a standalone, isn't it? I should have looked that up before I made this video. I do prefer standalones, so I'm excited about The Scorpio Races. I've heard great things about it, and it sounds like an interesting premise. However, I did not prefer Maggie Steve Arter's book Shiver. I read Shiver in high school and I didn't like it. <laughs> However, I've heard great things about this and The Raven Boys, so I think I need to give Maggie another chance. Next, I got Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister by Gregory Maguire. First and foremost, look at this. You take off the cover and look how beautiful the inside is. It's like this hardback beautifulness. Beautifulness? Okay, what am I saying? So Gregory Maguire is also the author of Wicked, The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West. If you've been on my channel for any period of time, you know I love Wicked the Musical, which is the musical that is, is based off of that book. Yes, I know it's cliche to love Wicked, but I love Wicked. I'm not ashamed. However, the book Wicked and I have a very, very strange relationship. I don't really like it. I have a lot of issues with it. Not only is it very graphic, like very graphic, but also it bores me at times. I find it boring. I find the characters kind of unrelatable. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into all my problems with Wicked at the moment. However, I think Gregory Maguire, based on w Wicked, because that's the only book I've ever read from him, I think he is an incredible author. I think he's incredibly talented. I also adore what he did with Oz. The expansion and the world building he did on Oz, uh, uh, the whole land of Oz, and all the existing cities and towns in Oz was incredible. I loved reading about the politics of Oz and just the way he expanded on it. I, I just love Oz. I just want to live in Oz. And the way he wrote Oz was just spectacular. So that's why I wanted to give this book a try because I think Gregory Maguire is very talented at retellings and this is a retelling of Cinderella and I believe it's from the evil um, uh, stepsister's perspective. So, since he's so good at retellings and world building and expanding on the worlds that already exist, I'm excited to read this. I've heard good things about it. Okay, so those were all the books that I got at Goodwill, but I wanted to show you guys one more thing. So I tweeted about this earlier this month, and a lot of you might have seen that tweet, but I wanted to um, 
show you guys in person. Uh, really quickly before I show you actually, a lot of you are following me on my personal Twitter account, which is fine. Like I really, I really don't mind that at all. You can totally follow me on my personal Twitter. And the reason you guys are finding that is because it's a basket Casey is my personal Twitter account that I've had for years and years and years. And so I guess you're typing that in since that's my channel name. However, my booktube Twitter name is what is it? <laughs> my booktube Twitter name is Casey Reads One. C A S E Y Reads One. So if you want to follow me on my booktube Twitter, that's how you do it. I've just noticed a lot of people have been following me on my personal Twitter, which is also fine, as I said. So a little backstory on this book, really quick. My dad went to a trip to Alaska, and he went in this bookstore that was like an old house. He was looking for something for me in there, but he doesn't really know, you know, what kind of books I like. So he asked the guy working there, I guess he asked him where like young adult books were, and the guy told him to go upstairs. So my dad was walking upstairs, and right when he got to the top of the stairs, a book fell from the shelf at his feet. And this was the book that fell down. It is a 1934 version of Cinderella. It is so cool. It's kind of falling apart. So there are pages like this with just text. There are also these beautiful illustrations. I'm just going to cover up my face so you can see it. There are these beautiful illustrations and it's just so cool. This is not the fairy tale in its original state. This is um, revitalized for children. It says that in here it's rewritten for children, which I'm totally fine with because it's still an awesome collector's piece. So thank you, Dad. My dad is really awesome. That's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my first haul ever, and I hope to do more in November because my birthday is in November, so hopefully I will get some books for my birthday. I'll see you guys later. Bye.